Good evening. We had to interrupt our broadcast for some breaking news. Our reporter AJ is in front of artist AJ Gurler's house right now. AJ, what can you tell us? What's happening? What's the big news? Thanks, AJ. As soon as we received the news that artist AJ Gurler is comparing $225 worth Karandash colored pencils with much cheaper Prismacolor pencils we got here, she drew the same portrait, same portrait with Prismacolor and then Karandash Luminance pencils. So we will go in very soon and we will see the results of which portrait turned out better and everyone hold their breath, everyone is so excited. We will see. Uh, is it worth it? Does the price matter? We are about to see. Okay guys, let's compare Prismacolor Premiere, which I have a set of 150 with perfect colors and Luminance Kardashian, Kardashian, <laughs> Karandash Luminance pencils, which has the biggest set. I have the biggest set, 76 Luminance pencils. What I did, I put them all on the paper and I found the most similar colors to make the portraits today. The best thing about Prismacolor is all these interesting colors like silver, gold and neon. And the best thing about Luminance colors is the skin tones if you ask me. Here if you look at their core, you will see that they are actually the same. But the outside wooden shell of the pencil in Karandash is thicker so unfortunately it didn't fit in my pencil sharpener, it was a bummer. So Prisma colors, let's start with them. The white pencil smudges. I don't like their white pencil. Look at that. All the blue parts are in the white right now. I didn't like it at all. So here I am applying more white, which actually does a good job. But here you will see much more clearly. I'm going to apply some white pencil on the eyebrow and you will see how it smudges. As you can see, the underlying layer is completely gone almost. But in Karandash pencils, I will do the same thing again and you will see that it's not going to smudge. It's going to just lighten it up. Let me apply this white in the highlights of the eye as well, just like I did in Prismacolor. I go in and I add my highlights, they stay white. So this is what I like about the Karandash set, the white pencil. And also, when you apply white on different layers, you can see still the layer underneath. It's not smudging it all over. So the white places stay white and other colors stay lighter. So Prismacolor has really nice gray tones. I really enjoyed drawing with them. And to be honest, Karandash set has very nice grays as well. I think they both have the same tones. So in terms of gray, I think they both did a really good job. Prismacolor's pigments stick to the eraser, so you have to be careful when you go back with your eraser, you have to make sure your eraser is clean because you might smudge. Speaking of erasing, erasing is slightly easier with Prismacolor, I don't know why, but with Karandash it is also okay. You will see now I'm going to try to erase some. It removed the top layer but not perfect if you apply a colored pencil on a white paper the very first layer is the most difficult to erase I find my eraser pencil the most helpful in erasing colored pencils Prismacolor had a strong smell it's a nice smell but it's a smell so just I wanted to let you know Prismacolor has slightly more bits you can see here all these bits around the left eye and the right eye. Unfortunately, when you apply layers, the layer underneath comes off and that creates some bits. 
but in Quran Dash you have much less bits and I don't know why. You can see a little bit of bits around the nose here, but I'm going to clean off. I highly recommend a big brush to brush them off. Prisma color, white versus cream. You can see here I'm trying to burnish with white, but it's not blending well. It's just smudging the colors, it's lighting up too much, it's not blending too well. But when I go with my cream color, I think it did a much better job. This is why I decided to do the rest of it rest of the burnishing with cream but then it ended up being too yellow you will see in the end but with Quran Dash buff titanium is a miracle pencil I'm telling you it's something between white and cream it's not too yellow it's not white either so it's not lighting up too much you can see that it's blending the colors underneath perfectly I really like blending with buff titanium and highly recommend it for you Prisma color lifting the color underneath is another problem so let's say you burnished and then you want to do more layers on top of it. Unfortunately your Prisma color pencil will lift up the layer underneath, the color underneath so instead of adding to it you will be lifting up the colors, the layer underneath which is not very good honestly. I don't get a depth in my drawing with that. But with Quran Dash, even though after I burnished, I can go back and add more layers to it without lifting the layer underneath. But I'll be honest with you, it's not easy to, of course, apply another layer after burnishing. So you have to do it pretty long time or you have to apply this layer many, many times to get a good result. It takes longer, but then it looks better. Prismacolor sometimes breaks. It is pretty strong still, don't get me wrong. I think the core is very strong, but it broke on me maybe twice during this portrait study. I sharpen my colored pencils a lot because I want to get a good result. But you will see now the white one broke on me with Prismacolor. Whereas with Crown Dash, which I'm working with longer than Prismacolor now, has never broken yet. With Prismacolor, I was trying to look for some yellow tones for the baby's face and I found eggshell. But eggshell was very similar to my burnishing color, which was cream, which created this very yellowy tone. I didn't enjoy it very much. Whereas in Karandash set, there is a brown ochre 10% for yellow and it has this mild yellowish color, which I really like. Right now I'm adding that yellow tone as you can see with my brown ochre 10% and I'm going to go over it with my buff titanium and you will see that it lightens up, it mixes all the underlying layer perfectly. So if you ask me, the brown ochre 10% and buff titanium worked better than eggshell and cream combination in Prismacolor. So with Prismacolor, when I was doing the lips, I think I liked the colors, they were very good, but the white highlights were difficult for me with the white pencil. So in order to give realistic effect, I had to work harder. With Karandash, I think the colors are a little bit brighter. You can see the red tones and I was able to add the white highlights much better on these lips. Now you see me adding highlights in Prismacolor with white, except the lip area actually did a very good job. I added all these highlights on the face and it highlighted them. It was okay. I really enjoyed working with white pencil on overall the face highlighting. 
With Crown Dash 2, it worked well. With white pencil, you have to work on maybe a little bit more layers than Prismacolor, but the result is the same. So it highlights very well with white Crown Dash pencil. For the hair, I used solvent, and I think Prismacolor worked better for some reason. I don't know why, really. But I applied this brown and orange tone first, and I applied solvent to blend. And I added, of course, after it dries, all these details, and it turned out fine. Whereas with Crown Dash, you know, I added the same colors and I repeated the same process. But I think I got a better result with Prismacolor than Karandish in this one. I added the hair with dark brown after the solvent dried up and I got a good result. I have to remind you though, if you want a natural look, I usually use solvent with the hair, not with the skin, because I want a natural look on the skin. Final words before the reveal. I just want to tell you that if you're working with Prismacolor, I think it makes more sense to add all those layers, tones first, and then burnish them, and not do much work after burnishing them. With Coran Dash though, I think even though after you burnish them, you can apply still more layers, but then you have to consider that it's going to take time. After knowing these tips with Prismacolor and Karandash, now we can continue and see the result. We will decide which one is better and you can always write your opinion in the comments. I would love to see it. Which one do you think looks better? Working with those both pencils were amazing. I really like them both. I'm going to use them both a lot. But Karandash is really, really expensive. And I think you should know that the reason they are really expensive is because they don't lose their vibrance or they don't lose their color under the sunlight so they can go for a very long time for years without being damaged by the light here is the result on the left you see Corandash, on the right you can see prisma color the only thing i want to say is i didn't like how yellow it looked with prisma color and i like the lips better with Corandash, but eyes look better a little bit in prisma color so tell me what you think if you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe and visit my website, ajagirlar.com. Stay with art and love.